What's the meaning of Allahu Akbar? Can someone say it to me? Allah is the greatest, right? In actual fact, if you look at the Arabic language, the term Akbar is superlative. It refers to greater, greater. We, to make it easy, we just say Allah is the greatest, meaning greater than everything. But if you look at those words, the exact meaning is Allah is greater. Because if you were to say Allahul Akbar, it is the greatest. But without the l in the middle, if you say Allahu Akbar, which is what it is, it means Allah is greater. Allah is greater. So we're actually, you know, saying out loudly, Allah is greater. Greater than what? Well, you're calling me towards prayer. And you're saying to me at the beginning of the call to prayer, Allah is greater than whatever you're doing. Allah is greater than anything you're going through right now. Allah is greater than your business that you might be busy with right now. Allah is greater than the family and whatever you might be busy with right now. So therefore drop everything and come and pray now. How's that? Allah is greater than your matters. Allah is greater than the, whatever you think you're going through right now. It's the time for prayer, so come through. Allah is greater than anything you're doing right now. So drop it and come to prayer. First thing is Allahu Akbar. Then you say, I bear witness that Allah, there is none worthy of worship besides Him, besides Allah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. So if you really bear witness that there is none worthy of worship besides Allah, you will believe that Allah is greater than your issue. You stop whatever you're doing and you go to pray and come back. And if you believe there is none worthy of worship besides Allah, you believe that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, brought the message of Allah to you, then you will also immediately believe Allah is greater than whatever I'm doing right now. Drop it and go and pray. See? And thereafter, what do we say? Come to pray. Hayya ala salah. Come to pray. Come to pray. Allah is greater. Come to success, the ultimate success. It might not be exactly as you think or I think. It might not be exactly what I want, but I know ultimately, if I have this particular thing in my life, I will succeed. I ask you today, what is true success? Tell me. If I have the whole world, but I don't have the connection with Allah, have I succeeded? You answer it. If I have nothing or very little, but I have a beautiful connection with my maker, he gives me contentment. He gives me contentment. It's a condition within you of the heart, the soul, the mind, the body put together and content. And he gives me the success of the hereafter, which is eternal. So even if I don't have much, I have got something that is considered success. And that's why immediately after saying the call to success, you know, come to prayer, come to success. We repeat again immediately after that, Allah is greater. Allah is greater. Indeed, there is none worthy of worship besides that's the call to prayer.